Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. This is my wife Kenyatta and it's her birthday today. And I'm not at home this day with her. I happen to be out on the road and miss her very dearly and want to wish her a very special birthday. So I want you all to know this and hear this and I want her to hear it more than anything. Because she say the last two years I have been out on the road on her birthday. So this year I'm out on the road again. Not because I want to be, because I'm chasing my dreams as well as she is chasing hers at PFP. So what I want to say is this on this wonderful birthday. I'm sorry I'm not with you there. I truly wish I was there with you because you are truly the love of my life. And I thank you for all the wonderful years we have had together and all the wonderful times. And I want to say something to all of you all. When I moved to Florida and I was on probation for five years, I argued and argued with my wife about going back to college. She worried me to death to go back to college. I finally gave in and went back to college down in Broward, the Arthur Ashe, the Arthur Ashe campus on 19th Street in Broward, Fort Lauderdale, you understand. And it was the greatest time I have ever had. School was so fun now that I embraced it. All of my young years, I was busy running out of it, chasing money and doing other things. When she got me go back to school this time, it was, it was I really want to go back again. I'm sorry that Corona has disturbed it because I really enjoyed my time at Arthur Ashe campus in Broward. I enjoyed the teachers there and I enjoyed learning many things that I had learned before but had forgotten and ran past them. So my wife is truly my better half. And on this day, I really truly want to say happy birthday. And I want to say something to you ladies too. I haven't got a chance to buy my wife a wedding ring yet because it's a certain ring I want to buy. And it's a certain ring that costs certain money that I'm hustling up to get it and working my way up the scale to get it. And because it's taken so long to get it, she's hurt because she don't have a ring. But I was out hanging and told a lady friend one time, just having drinks, I mean a true friend, I just met at a bar. She was actually a cognac girl giving out free shots of Remy Martin. And we just happened to sit down and talk, truly just, just talking, you know, we wasn't trying to date or uh, none of that. And I said the same thing to her that I'm saying to you all now, I would love to get my wife a ring, my wife want a ring, and, I, and she looked at me and she said, you know what, when you come in the room, you light the room up, you are the diamond. If you was my husband, I'd wear you on my finger as the diamond and be happy to have a husband. Many women have a ring and no husband. So I ask the question of all of you all, would you rather really have a husband that's really there with you, loving you every day, all the time, and truly love you? Or would you rather have a ring, $100,000 ring, and the husband's never there? He's out tricking, doing whatever he wants. But you got this gorgeous ring but you ain't got no real husband. You got a fake life. You sitting there fronting, oh, I got the best ring, but that's all you got. You can't make love to that ring. And that's another thing I was looking at cable the other day and I looked at the Whitney Houston special. And she touched me because I was a Whitney Houston fan. And looking at how her life spent and things she said on the video really touched me because having a lot of money and going through things like that, it really rang true. Like another person, Fantasia, tells a wonderful story. But Whitney said, let's go back to her. 
that you can get that fame and the fortune and everything you ever wanted. And one day you'll wake up and realize you don't even like the person you are. That's a hell of a thing. You can have everything in this life you want and wake up and realize you don't even like yourself. That's a hell of a thing when I heard her say that. It was awesome to hear her say that with the kind of wealth she had, all of that. And I could feel her because it was real. Having like myself, and I thank God I finally found my soulmate. And that's the truth. Because living this life, I don't care how rich you are, how famous you are, if you really don't have a soulmate, somebody next to your side that truly love you, life is going to be empty. I don't give a damn what you got. So I think, and I say thank you to Allah every day for giving me a better half, Kenyatta. So I want you all to know that I'm very happy with her. I used to do a whole lot of cheating. But I don't do any anymore. And it's one thing that me and my dad used to talk about, about my dad and my mom. And he used to always say, I don't know why your mom would want me with all the things I've done. And I, I'm blessed that she still loved me and she's still in my corner. And I feel that same way at times because I have taken my wife through a lot of things. But we were not married when I did them. But... She went through them just the same and it's pain regardless to whether you married or not. So I'm thankful she hung on and life is good for us now. As far as I have no arguments with women. I'm not chasing women. I, I'm happy. You know, when I go at home, I'm happy. More than happy. So today I say thank you to Allah for sending me the one that was meant for me truly, Kenyatta Jackson. Kenyatta Austin. Jackson, happy birthday from your husband, Eddie Jackson. Peace, love, and I hope, even though I'm not there, and we will be together very soon after my mother's birthday because I had to come and spend time with my mother during this coronavirus time so I could see my mom and she could see her son. It meant that much to me and my mom. So I had to come home with my mom. And I will be back home with my wife soon. So happy birthday, wife. I love you. I hope this is a wonderful day, even though I'm not there. And I will be there real soon. Peace and love. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime, saying happy birthday to Kenyatta Austin Jackson. Peace and love forever. I'm out. Love you.